Hello and welcome to the Jesuit Schools Network's 50th anniversary celebration. I'm Julia Andretta. I am the communications coordinator for the Jesuit Schools Network, and I'm joined today by Donna Andrade, who has agreed to talk to me a little bit about her experience with the JSN. Um, good morning, Donna. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, so let's get started with just a little bit about yourself. Uh, for the folks watching who may not know you. Okay, so um, I began my career in Jesuit education in 1980 as an English teacher. I taught uh, at Fairfield College Preparatory School uh, for my first seven years as a Jesuit educator, and then I developed uh, the diversity program, the first diversity program in Jesuit high schools in the nation at the time, and uh, then moved on in the 2000s. I ran that program for many years, and moved on in the 2000s to become the academic dean. Um, and now I'm the dean of mission and ministry and I've been on the JSM board uh, three uh, for, oh, I don't know, I would say uh, oh, oh, many, a long time over three decades. <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't remember all of my actual board service dates offhand. But, um, <laughs> But oh, a long time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, great. So yeah, since the JS, since the JSN it was, was the, JSCA. the JSCA, the Jesuit Secondary Education Association. Correct. Correct. Great. Well, um, so this next question is going to sound like a quiz question, but I promise it's not. Um, I so without looking at the JSN's mission statement, um, what would you say the JSN's mission is, and how? in your opinion, have they fulfilled that mission in the last 50 years? Well, um, originally as JSCA, I know it has been, and I believe still is, uh, an organization in service to Jesuit schools um, on, on the conference level. I'm not gonna talk about the global level because that came much later, but initially um, it was a service provided for um, especially lay people. Um, who were working in Jesuit schools to um, actually ground us in mission, Jesuit mission and Ignatian uh, pedagogy and um, Jesuit uh, identity. So it, for me, um, originally the uh, mission of the JSN and, and, and also I'm sure, not I'm sure I know it is still part of the mission, um, is still that. Um, you know, as our world got bigger, um, and technology um, has connected us globally. Uh, there are some other aspects of the mission. And um, that global connection for me has pretty much allowed me now as Dean of Mission as I've evolved in the institution to draw on many of the resources provided by the JSN mm -hmm. that connects us in, in this larger network of networks. Um, so as I see it, um, JSN and formerly JSEA are directly responsible for my formation as an Ignatian educator. Without them, I could not be who I am and I could not have done my job as effectively as I have done it without the organization. I'm not sure I answered your question, but. <laughs> no, that was perfect. Um, I think that very well covered sort of the, the evolution to the, the, the nationwide sort of connection and bringing in, and especially I liked your connection about lay people in particular, bringing in lay people in Jesuit schools, giving them um, this like this nationwide network. And then, yeah, in the last probably like maybe five years, it's really become a global endeavor. Um, so yeah. we've seen this evolution because initially when I began, there were very few women. Mm -hmm. There were very few people of color. Um, there, we, they knew, of course, the Jesuits knew there was going to be a dearth of Jesuits. They, you know, they, we, they have demographic studies and they knew where things were going. So I see the JSN always as cutting, or and formerly JSCA, cutting edge, looking forward, trying to make sure we are providing the best for the schools, but also for our world. You know, um, I recall recently I was talking to a colleague, we had found um, the Vision 2020, um, uh, J it was then the JSCA Colloquium, mm -hmm. and I was on the think tank for that particular, and so now here we are in 2020, and we, we said we could never have imagined 
where we are, especially today with the global pandemic and the racial and social unrest in our country, but how visionary we were. Now, I can't take responsibility. I was just part of part of the process, but how um, visionary Jesuit schools uh, have been in response to um, our world and our students and, and, and our world and creating a world that responds to what God is calling us to be. Indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, that kind of ties into another thing I was going to ask you about, actually, which is um, so the JSCA, JSN, um, one of our sort of one of the jewels in our crown are our programs, um, in particular, the colloquia, the symposia, the seminars, uh, the cohort gatherings, um, the programs that we have in place for uh, various various members at various levels of Jesuit schools across the country. Um, and so my question is, is there a specific JSN or JSCA program that you've been a part of in the last 50 years that really stands out to you now? Um, and what about it was so impactful? Um, as I just mentioned that 20, yeah. 2004 JSCA <laughs> colloquium, which again, I'd forgotten, you know, the think mm -hmm. tank is called like 2020 Vision. And I remember that they had given us these sunglasses. They always <laughs> give you wonderful gifts at these JS and, and JSEA. <laughs> um, so um, I, I remember that, but not because of the glasses and not because of the backpack. <laughs> that was just a part. <laughs> um, but mostly, obviously, because of the content. Um, uh, for me, I have participated in all those things, from the programming to the cohorts to the seminars. Um, have run different things, you know, uh, for the former JSEA, like the National Diversity Conferences. Mm -hmm. We I ran the first three national ones, and those stand out in particular to me because what the keynote speaker at my first, uh, at our first um, JSN JSEA Diversity Conference was Joel Keith, who's now my provincial here in oh, New England. Wow. So it comes full circle. Yeah. Um, so I, um, you know, at that time. Um, you know, uh, jo, um, Joe O'Connell, who was his dad, or what he knows, um, was then the uh, executive director, president of J um, S E A, and so all of those things um, kind of, kind of started my career on that level. I mean, I began on the, as I said, teaching on the high school level, but when I began the diversity programs, I think that those in the diversity um, um, conferences. Those were particularly um, meaningful, um, and they would have been like what we call cohort groups today. Um, yeah, those yeah. Are, those are those are memorable to me. Yeah, and hopefully soon. So we're trans we're transitioning from the cohort model to now what's called the Ignatian colleagues gatherings, and those are going to be a little bit more theme based. Yeah, we're doing that obviously on the pro. I know it's all connected. So yeah. Um, so we've been obviously doing that on the province level as well. Yeah, so hopefully we can get back to something similar to the the focus on diversity, um, because I do think that's a very, it's a unique and important um, facet of what we do. Well, I think the way we're doing it now is really interesting, and we could only do it this way because of the technology, because yeah. we don't have symposia anymore. Right. And so I think that in you know, in the absence of symposia, these are this is a wonderful approach. I think it's even in terms of getting more people involved better in lots mm -hmm. of ways. Uh, of course, yeah. no one, you know, I think obviously the technology has its drawbacks. We all prefer to be in person, but I think that the thematic uh, nature of things, uh, doing it on the province level, connecting it to the conference level, connecting it to the global level. I mean, yeah. it's, all, yeah. it's all very tight and very well done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to switch gears just a little bit um, from gatherings to another thing that the JSN does is we periodically put out documents. And in fact, there were a few jokes, I think, at the last, um, I don't remember if it was the last colloquium or one of the gatherings, there were a few jokes about document fatigue. <laughs> um, but that is something that is, that's another part of what the JSN and the JSCA have always offered is these foundational uh, sort of documents for Jesuit education. 
Um, examples off the top of my head are the standards and benchmarks, the what makes a Jesuit school Jesuit. And so my next question, um, kind of similar to the last question, is if there is a document that's come out of the JSEA or the JSN in the last 50 years that really stands out to you. <laughs> um, and, and, and what about it was so impactful. And if not, that's okay too. Um, well, no, I, I have or if it's positive like, things to say. I'm rolling my <laughs> eyes because there are so many um, seminal documents that are extremely important. And I could speak to them both from a formation standpoint with how, when I was the academic dean, what I used for faculty and my own formation as a Jesuit educator. So of course for me, sowing the seeds of faith and justice way, way back, um, yeah. men and women for others. Those things um, really were the foundation. When, it, when I began the diversity program and when I started as a Jesuit educator, I'm like, where am I? I was in a public school and public school educated. I'm, I'm Catholic, but yeah. I am a public school kid. And Absolutely. I come to the school and they're talking about um, this thing called the graduate of graduation. And I'm like, where have I landed? This is 1980. <laughs> I thought this was curriculum, is what mm -hmm. I'm saying to myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a young teacher. But that graduate of graduation document, which is our mission for everything, um, those, I, I have a whole stack. I'm not going to turn you around to show you <laughs> how the JSEA um, used to print out little booklets mm -hmm. of things. Um, yeah. So I have whole stack of little booklets that I kept and um, that again formed me first so that I had a context for where I landed and um, you know that I also use in professional development. Certainly Ralph Metz's which is very very um, you know not a, not a new document very old document but which is still pertinent Ignatius New. You know um, I would love to see that particular document updated because he correlated a lot of the Ignatian pedagogy to um, educational methods um, that were very pertinent at the time and educational pedagogy that was out there. We have new things today, so I'd love, but I know Ralph's not writing, but I'd love to see something like that. Um, certainly right. the Jesuit school Jesuit and the standards and benchmarks, we, we, could not, we could not pass sponsorship, right? Or, that gave us a context first for sponsorship and we moved into those, into that direction. So there are so many things go forth and teach the characteristics of Jesuit. I mean, I could go on and on <laughs> if I've read them. And so what, what concerns me, I, I need to say, even though there is document fatigue, mm -hmm. those documents. And today I've been, I've been in, I've been doing this 40 years. How do we form new faculty and new sure. educators? With all those documents in mind, without the document fatigue, um, and what comes to mind is my new favorite, it's not a document, it's that infographic done by the, um, I always get it mixed up. I don't know if it's a Kaje. I'm not sure who did the infographic. Uh, I, I think, I think the, oh gosh, see now I'm gonna show my I hand. <laughs> like, I, I wanna say it was educated. There's a lot of groups. Sometimes. Yeah, no, that, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> that is, that that's the downside of our global network. <laughs> that's where we need to be, that historical yeah. graphic and then underneath all, all the drop downs to document. It's interactive, you can click exactly. on. That it. is, yeah. I introduced it. I, when, I, when I got it last year, I was thrilled. I already introduced it to our um, administrative leadership team, but it is yep. overwhelming. And I, I know all this stuff because it's been a long time, it's been, I've been doing it. So for me, it's like, oh, look at this, look at this. And people want to know the head. So I think <laughs> that, um, but I think that's where we need to go with those things to, to um, kind of, you know, go a little bit further with that question. Um, you know, because today we can't get, I can't get to the document. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I very much resonate with that, with what you said, especially about being from public schools and then jumping into Jesuit education because I had the exact same experience where I was like, oh, this is like a totally different like universe. But then, yeah, like they, we have so many resources that, um, and so many resources that are continuing to be made as well. Um, I know that now there's a course that Educate Magis has been piloting 
that is kind of a similar, like helping to form new. Yes, I've used that in my professional development, their teacher formation materials, things like that. It's essential because, you know, like when you think about, especially even the grad at grad, which in my, you know, those five characteristics, all we have to do is keep adding them or editing them. They cover everything. I, I, I'm not for adding more characteristics onto that because it becomes unwieldy and I'm not for, and I've said this publicly, um, for people, schools adding their own elements because that dilutes our national brand, our ident, our, our not national, our global brand, brand, our right. ident. Yeah. Um, so I think that um, if I had to pick one, one document, I would say that is the document that that is, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that is essential. Um, yeah, it's a great document, and yeah. Having, I, I've worked with the SPS2 a lot, so I have a very strong familiarity with the grad at grad. Um, because it's our mission and it, yeah. it's, it's, it gets right to the heart of it and it's just, it's just wonderful. And you can use, you know, you could take that and the UAPs are right in there. So as yeah, we start actually. to go global for these universal apostolic preferences and, you know, try to contextualize things more widely as Father Sosa has, all of that's already there. It's also in all the GCs from 32 to the present. So it's just, it's, it's there. I'm yeah. not getting excited seeing I, <laughs> when I that's first got here, I was like, wait, how is, how is Huck Finn related to the grad of grad? You know? <laughs> I'm like, what are you people talking about? <laughs> but it's all connected. It is. It's all connected. Um, so moving, moving right along. A lot of my questions are structured very similarly. <laughs> so um, my next, the next thing I want to talk about, obviously over, you know, 50 years is a long time. We've had a lot of folks on our staff, folks who have been um, integral to the formation of what the J- JSN is today. Uh, so my next question is, if tell to tell me about a JSEA or JSN staff member, past or present, who has had a positive impact on you and the way that you approach Jesuit education. See, this is like the document question. There are too many. <laughs> There's so many. Like, that's not a fair question. <laughs> um, I will say this. Everybody I've encountered as a Jesuit educator um, that I've had conversations with, I should say, um, have influenced me because these are phenomenal people in our network, right? I am I sometimes say, why am I even in this network? You know, like these people are, <laughs> they blow me away with, with their knowledge base, their faith, um, their, their commitment. To, to Jesuit education and our students and our world, you know, all of those kinds of things. Um, there would be, I think, there, there are just so many. I mean, I'll, I'll just say that my initial contact into all of this was uh, my my former principal, Bob Perota, who was with us at, at Fairfield Prep for 49 years as our principal. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and so, and he also was chair of the JSEA board. Uh, so, um, so he's connected, obviously, <laughs> to the J. He was my first yeah. contact into all of this in terms of shaping and forming me as a Jesuit educator. And then, of course, Joel O'Connell, and of course, our current um, executive director, Bill Muller. And um, the many, many um, other Jesuits, I think, that, um, that, that I've encountered. Um, certainly the women in the network, um, like um, Meg Florentine, Gretchen Kessler, Kessler Susan Cindy Leopel. Um, these, these were my colleagues, as well as my formators, um, you know, Paul Holland. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, really yeah. don't like to start naming names because there's too many. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to stop. That's I don't amazing. know if I cut that question. Don't cut that <laughs> No, no. I think that's like, like volume. I know but... that love and have, I think, um, been been wonderful. You know, Brie Lotko, Terry Cote. I could just, you know, <laughs> well, uh, Kathleen Schieber. I, I, people, you know, I love, love, love Bob Ryan. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right there. No, I think Bob Ryan. I think that speaks volumes. Just to like. Okay, but to cut that question. Because <laughs> there's too many. It's too many to possibly name. And I can't name them all. And I, they were all influential. 
really. it's kind of like um <laughs> I, I don't want to like ruin the moment but I, it kind of reminds me of like an oscar speech where it's like oh my god i'm gonna forget yes, somebody. <laughs> yes. and you get up to accept and then you, accept your... <laughs> you start naming and i i mean honestly it's been decades you yeah. know so how can you know i could say somebody like a joe keith my prince my my provincial who i met like in the 90s sure. and now here we are again jack Hanwell, my former president and he was just i, I could go on and on and on yeah well yeah and I, and like i said i think that you know is just a testament if, if nothing else that's just a testament to the kind of people who are part of this network and the kind of people who make the jsn what yeah. it what it is now yeah. um so I think it's that's like you're, you're <laughs> and each person adds a piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Each person, each person helps with your composition, you know, your, um, your fabric, your whatever, however, I, my met, I'm mixing metaphors here. So <laughs> just cut this question. To you. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Um, so next I want you to think, um, and, and again, this this may kind of tie in to, uh, again, um, I think you talked about the colloquium of 2004. Um, but if you can, what's a very a specific fond memory that you associate with the JSEA or the JSN? So like, like, is there a moment like a like, you know, like a am trying to think of the way to put it, but yeah, like, like sometimes you just have those very like like clear vivid memories of something is there something that stands out um maybe something that happened at one of these gatherings or a conversation well i think that one of the things that um stands out for for me at um not this last colloquium but the one before mm -hmm. when um, Tim Kosicki did mm -hmm. this whole presentation on, you know, the Jesuit um, Society of Jesus and how it, the whole historical, he did beautiful PowerPoint mm -hmm. and he kind of went through how, again, just my experience, how the JSCA, JSN Jesuits changed over the decades. So he started with this slide. Well, I don't know if it was he started with, but one of the slides was, you know, it was a very small group of Jesuits and they were all white men. And mm -hmm. then you could see it changing as, you know, our world has changed. And it, um, so as he gave that particular um, historical context, that was, that was really interesting me um just because of the way he, he put that together Absolutely. and then another one that struck me was that this past colloquium mike gilson's yes he, you know mike what are you going to say about Mike? exactly <laughs> just, just say mike gilson right <laughs> so his um his opening of the colloquium um you know his keynote i'm just it was just it moved me. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I was supposed to be a responder and I didn't do an adequate. <laughs> adequate. Who can, who can do that? Who can respond to that? But anyway, so. Yeah, no, it was beautiful. Do you have anything, anything you would want to add to your response now or <laughs> could you, are you still? For my Gilson, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, the, eloquence of that presentation, the rich, deep understanding of contextualizing those UAPs and what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know, the depth, breadth and scope of, of what Mike presented for us and the, and the challenges um, is very moving, very, very moving. Yeah. Is that enough? Did you need more? Oh, no, that was perfect. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna my so thank you. First of all, you've done wonderfully. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna kind of for as a wrap up, just if there's anything um, 
that you wanted to make sure you said that you weren't able to work in anywhere, if there's anything that you want to make sure you leave people with um, as we kind of start to wrap up. Uh, again, I would just reiterate um, how essential the JSCA, JSN um, has been in the formation of thousands of Ignatian educators who are the laity because, again, as our schools are now run by lay leadership, the role of the JSN is more critical now than ever, um, especially as we form our leadership who form our faculty. Um, so I, I would just say that on a personal level, as I mentioned, I would not be who I am. Um, you know, the JSCA, JSN influenced um, me on a personal level and on a professional level and has enabled me to, I think, do do my job, as I said, at, in, in my various roles. What I mean, I've had many roles here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is my fourth or fifth role in, in my institution. And every step of the way, there are resources, support, the programming um, has enabled me to, to make sure that our school is in step with our mission and is in step with what it means to be a Jesuit institution. Happy 50th anniversary, JSN. <laughs>